this is Mentor Sabrina, and in this video, I'm going to show you an introduction for how to use turtles. So, the very first thing we want to do whenever we use turtles is import the library. And to do this, we write from turtle import turtle. Notice that the first turtle here is all lowercase letters, and this one has an uppercase T. This is important. What this is telling the computer is from the turtle library, we want to import the code for the turtle class. Now, another way to think of this is from a box of turtles, from all these this turtle code that's already written, we want to pull out just one. A library is code that's already been written by someone else and has been released for other people to use in their own code. In this case, that code is for something that's called a turtle, which works like a pen to draw what you want on your canvas. Now, another important thing to note is there are spaces between each of these words. This is important here because from and import, those are yellow. That means they're keywords in Python. Those are necessary. If there's no space in between these, then Python doesn't know that we need their keyword import and their keyword from. Now the next step we need to do is name our turtle. Now you can name your turtle whatever you want, but you have to remember that whatever you name it, it you can't have any spaces in the name and it cannot start with a number. You can put numbers in it or at the end of it, but you cannot start with a number. You don't need the space between the equal sign and Bob and turtle. I'm doing that so that it's easier to read. Also note that this turtle also has a capital T. You need this capital T. If you don't have that, then you're going to get an error later on. You also need these parentheses. We open close parentheses with nothing inside. To move our turtle forward so we can see it, we write the name of our turtle dot forward and then in parentheses, we write how far forward we want it to move. This number is a number of pixels. Now, uh, pixels, if you don't know, are all those little squares on your screen. It's how you can visually see what's on your computer, what's on your camera, what's on your phone. We want to move our turtle forward 100 pixels to start. Now. Now that you've got this, we're going to hit run. When we hit the run key, the run button, you notice that this box appears. This is asking you to name your file. Dot pi is necessary as it's used as an extension. What we're going to name it is whatever you really want to name it. Name it something that you know what it's doing. What we're going to draw in this file is a square. Make sure you have no spaces in the name. You don't need these uppercase letters, but you can't have any spaces. And make sure it's all before dot pi. And then click save. When you do that, if you did everything right, you should see a line being drawn. Now, if we wanted to draw a square, what we would do next is what? Our turtle's going this way. When we move forward, it still went to the right. We want it to move up, for example. We have to tell it to turn first. Well, if we want to tell it to turn, we can choose either left or right to turn. So in this case, let's turn left. And because we're going to draw a square, we want to turn left 90 degrees. Because every corner of a, every angle of a square is 90 degrees. So when I hit run, you see it draws the line, and then it faces going up. If I change this to right, it will instead be pointing down. So now we want to draw another line. Well, whenever we want to draw a line, we have to tell our turtle to move forward. And since it's a square, we want to move forward the same amount we moved forward the first time. And to keep drawing the square, we will want to turn left again, 90 degrees. And notice that now it's pointing in that direction. Now it is your job to finish the square. I will
will finish it in this video and uh, move on. But this would be a good time for you to pause the video and finish the square on your own. Now, if you look at this and take, in, take notice that we are always moving forward and left over and over and over again, we're doing the same two lines, correct? Well, in programming, whenever we're doing the same thing over and over again, we can make this so much easier by using something called a loop. Now, to use a loop in Python, we write, Make sure you go before all this code, but after you create the turtle, and hit enter once so that it's spaced out a bit. Type four, and then this is a variable, so you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it counter in range. And here, we're just going to put a four and a colon. Now, this is how many times we want our code to run. Since we're moving forward and left, four times, because there are four sides to the square, we want to repeat this four times. What this will do is it starts at zero. You don't have to write that, but it starts at zero. The first time it'll run, it'll be zero, counter will equal zero. The second time, counter equals one, then counter equals two, then counter equals three. When counter equals four, it will actually stop running the loop. This colon at the end of the line here is important because it indicates to, Py to the Python program that this is the start of a block. And to put our, codes in our code inside a block, we must go to the start of the, the lines we want inside the loop and press tab, or four spaces. And then we can delete the rest of the code. When we hit run, it should do exactly the same thing that it did before. But notice that we're only using seven lines of code instead of using the Instead of using however many lines of code we had before, <laughs> we're using three lines instead of eight lines to draw up the square itself. Now, another cool thing to show you is how to change the color. So to change the color, we're going to do this before we draw the square. You write the name of the turtle dot color, and in parentheses, in quotes, you write the name of the color you want. If, if the name of the color you want is two words, like light blue, you take out the space, or hot pink. Please remember that some colors aren't going to work, and if you spell the, the name of the color wrong, it's also not going to work. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to fill in the square. To fill in the square, before you start drawing the square, you want to write the name of your turtle, dot begin underscore fill with parentheses. And after you finish drawing, you want to hit enter after the last line in the loop and backspace four times and write bob dot end fill, the name of your turtle dot end underscore fill. Underscore is shift and the minus key, which is next to zero. And when you hit run, you'll see that it fills in your square. And that is all you need to know for how to make a turtle work, how to make a turtle draw. So go on and play with it and see what you can create.